The Food and Agriculture Organization FAO, in collaboration with local communities, organizations, and partners, has been actively formulating, implementing, and adjusting various programs aimed at supporting ecosystem restoration in Lycipia Mayanat and Mucogodo Forest. Before these initiatives, many areas experienced widespread environmental degradation, making life unbearable for the nomadic communities who depend on the ecosystem for their survival. A positive impact has been witnessed, and more opportunities have arisen, thanks to the programs developed by FAO with the help of local communities and partners, leading to better livelihoods for the communities in Lycipia. Lakini tulipoanza kuweka mifugo mifugo kuikanyanga na kuweka hiyo mbolea nyasi ikaanza kuimea hapo e, tukaweka tena hizi hizi mitaro kubwa kubwa tuko na zile ndogo na ili kuisuia maji isiwe inakimbia sana na tuliweka pia e, hizo semi circular ban kwa huko juu hiyo tulikuwa tumesapotiwa roof hao e, tuka, tulianza na hiyo na zote tumeona faida Saizi tumesha panda nyasi hapa kwa hii demo, tumepanda miti, na hata tayari za hii tumesha funa tuko na mbego ya nyasi. We have employed a number of strategies in managing the forest, and we have uh, divided our activities into eight programs, and that, that has enabled us to reach uh, the vast landscape because the, the forest is too big. So it's over 75,000 acres, and also we are also managing surrounding landscapes, and so we need a lot of uh, uh, programs and a lot of specificity in, in carrying out those activities. So I've encouraged normal forest management. We've uh, involved in tree planting. We have involved them in, uh, in, uh, in AGMs and elections. Those are the many strategies that we are employed to ensure that our communities are able to participate fully in the running of the CF. We have uh, strived to improve the capacity of our members to sustainably utilize the forest resources. Uh, and that is how we are able to negotiate over 19 new forest use rights from Kenya Forest Service. So they are able to utilize the activities according to each use right. So we have uh, people engaging in fuel wood, uh, water, pastoralism, beehive activities, tree nursery development, cultural manyatas, and so many other activities within the forest. I'm Faith Jaren Jogu. I am a community developer here at Laikipi Permaculture Center. In this project, that is helping the community to empower them economically. We have several products that we are using to promote this community. And uh, we have honey, that is acacia honey, uh, which we value add and we package and we sell. The honey is gotten from the community. They sell to the companies and by, by, that, by doing so, they gain income. We also have aloe, aloe secondary flora products. We have aloe secondary flora soap and we also have aloe secondary flora uh, body cream. The communities are the ones who make this soap, it's hand, hand made, and then they sell it. They can sell it locally, they can sell it to tourists, they can sell it to, to other uh, companies or other places where the soap is being used yeah, and it's promoting the community. We measure the success of our project through income generating activities. How much did the community uh, generate in terms of finance or in terms of income. We also measure it through how many plants have we planted and have grown on the landscape. We also measure in terms of how many beehives have been installed, how much honey has been harvested, how many trainings have been done and how many people have got the concept after the training. And also the stories of the, of the opinion leaders and the people we trained, how they take it through interviews, and through monitoring and evaluation to ensure that, uh, that the outcome is realized. I want to highlight one of the main pilot projects we are currently doing with FAO, and this is on conversion of Opontius nectar into an alternative source of fall during the drought season. We've done a lot of tests within this particular area. One, developing feed formulation to understand the nutritional value for the Opontius nectar so that we could give out to the communities. Eh? Two, we are looking at doing tests at the community level so that we can know how would it uh, look like to feed the small luminant and the large luminant eh? to the Opuntia feeds eh? around this particular area. 
and we've seen a lot of positive response from the community. They've already expressed a lot of interest. They provided us with their livestock to carry out this particular test. And this to us is quite encouraging eh? because we know at the end of the day, now the community will be at the forefront eh? and they'll actually be incentivized eh? to participate more in the restoration efforts.